Welcome to another Mercedes video, my 2009 Mercedes C200 and in this video I'm going to be changing the front anti-roll bar drop links So this is the first Mercedes video I've done since it came back from the dealers for the rear subframe replacement and on the inspection video it did pick up a few other issues and I've actually dealt with some of those issues off camera uh, it had the wrong size tyres on the rear, they've been fitted with the correct size tyres and the rims, because they're different sizes front and back the left ones run on the wrong way around so that's been sorted so tyres are 100% uh, I had a bit of a problem with this the front bumper was was hanging off uh, unfortunately there's like a, a, a lip on on this part of the wing and the uh, that's where it screws into but I don't know if you can see the, the actual lip of the wing's missing so it's either like welder piece onto the wing or replace the wing but for now uh, there's only one clip holding the wheel arch liner to the bumper there's three clips I've fitted two clips so it's it's on a bit better that'll do for now but I may have to address that in the future uh, but like I said the focus of the video is replacing these anti-roll bar drop links so I'll, I'll do this side first because this is the side that was uh, the worst affected uh, I think I've uh, put, put up a B, bit of a B-roll from the inspection video so get this jacked up and get the wheel off so I'm going to take this, this drop link off and in theory I should just need an 18mm spanner for the nut um, and a T40 Torx so I took this off before so I think these are, these are probably genuine Mercedes ones that like this T40 torques in the middle, 18 mil, and that's the top one off. That's it's that easy. But the bottom one, I don't think it'll be, will be as easy. And if I bring in a bit closer, just take off the tripod, because this is the one with the problem. I don't know why you can see this. But you can see there's a split there's a split in the boat and that's what the, the dealer picked up on so I'm not sure how I'm gonna get this one off it might be a bit harder I've doused it in a bit of WD access isn't as easy so impact's not gonna cut it probably have to use a use a ratchet and, and because of that I thought I'd bring in the uh, the quarter inch and see if I can get with the with the 3 8 drive but I probably won't show that on on camera so I'll probably come back to you when it's it's done well, it took a bit of doing but I managed to get that bottom nut off unfortunately I didn't have to resort to a to the grinder just to, I to apply a bit of heat until I could crack crack the nut off get this the whole lot were moving then I managed to get in with me with my 3 8 ratchet on the you know, on the T40 and the and my 18 inch spanner and I was able to undo it without too much difficulty so that's that off and I'll just get the replacement now these are handy on, on the Mercedes C class so I've got both and as you can see that's that's the correct side now something to note with replacement parts it's not always going to be the same fittings so there's no there's no torques there it's just the it's just a nut, it's, these are actually 90 mil nut and there's this, it's, there's usually like a flat on each side so you can get a spanner into hold it but it'll have to be a mole grips when the time comes to take these off which hopefully won't be me well, it might be actually I don't know how long I'm keeping this car so putting it, reassembling it is just the reverse of it taking it out so I'll do that off camera 
and then that's a job done for this side. So it's all buttoned up and it was damn sight quicker than getting it off. I don't know the uh, the talks for these but it's a German car so we'll go good and tight and it's basically rinse and repeat on the other side. Oh and something else the, uh, the dealer picked up on the inspection they said the, uh, the pads are, are down to about 5 mil, so there's a bit of life left in them and there's a bit of a lip on the disc so they did recommend having them replaced in their report but I won't do that just yet, there's a bit of life left in them. Probably get a fair few thousand out of these before I need to change it. I'll probably do that when the when the MOT is due in September. So there's no point spending your money on stuff I don't need yet, but it's just something I wanted to point out. So we're basically all, all done on this side. We're hundred percent. This side's hundred percent. So I'm going to move on to the other side. So I've got the uh, drop link off at the other side now. But I've just put it in loosely at the bottom because um, if you remember from spring replacement I only got the other side done so I thought while I'm here doing drop link pull the strut out and I'm going to have to get the garage to to change it over because I, I tried it it's just a bit of an awkward one way you've got not only compress the spring but you've got to pull the you know pull the top of the uh, the damper out so it's not something I can I can do on the on the side of the road so I found, found that job out to my local garage and I just pay, pay it labour so I'll end the video with you and I'll, I'll show you when I put that back together so hope you enjoyed this one uh, some when we drop links so as ever thanks for watching and I'll see you there